Good morrow and welcome to the show. My name's Double A and welcome to Skyrim. Alright, now last episode we uh, saved this crazy lady from from a uh, underground place and then we uh, fought these people and then we uh, that's about it. We walked far away as way to get to this dang castle. So now it's time to enter the castle. Into the castle. Open up. Here we are. You guys coming? Alright. Well, that's good, old man. So you're like a Walmart greeter? But like a castle Verniscar greeter? Like vampire greeter. Like, hi, welcome to Vampire Castle. Lingerie is in the seventh aisle. Toys in the fifth. And just like hand out little smiley stickers to little kids. That's cool. I hand out smiley stickers to kids. That's what I'm going to do when I'm like, oh! Don't tell me what I can do. Is that truly you? I would have my people. Well, we're locked in here forever. You're gonna protect me, right? Everyone. Right. I guess I'm expected. I can't believe it. I guess you are expected. I don't think they're expecting me. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine vampires that I can see. Probably. I'm gonna take your nightshade if that's cool. Traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Oh really? Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought to our home? Oh, my name's Double A. This is my savior. Yes. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Oh, you are most welcome. What is your name? Um. I'm double A, who are you? Lord of this court. Ah. Now, my daughter would have told you what we are. You are grotesque creatures. Oh. I don't really care. You're a reclusive cannibal cult. Not quite. Though I can see how an outsider might arrive at that conclusion. Well, outside, like, outside the castle? We are vampires. Among that's, the old that's what I said. Powerful in Skyrim. Easy. For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of <laughs> What are you about to do? Beatbox? When my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. Probably because she doesn't like you. Uh, what happens now? Great service. Yes. Now you must be rewarded. There's twenty dollars. I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and the daughter. I oh. offer you my blood. <laughs> Ah. It and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach, and you will never. Ah, my approach. I never fear death at all. Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Perhaps so either vampire or. Behold the power. Behold the power. Ew, you got your blood on me. I offer now. Make your choice. Ugh. I don't want to become a vampire. I refuse your gift. So be it. You are like all mortals. Oh, oh God, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> That was scary. Whoa, where's my people? You didn't convert my friends, did you? Because that would be kind of... Wow, everything's all bright and shiny. Where's my buddies? Aw. Well, now it's time to go back to the Dawn Guard. And I am not walking this distance. 
That'd be like 97 episodes right there. Alright. Um, remove. And then fast travel for the god. So. Uh, oh. That's two. One. Two. Oh, three. I thought they got you, Benor. I thought they got you. Oh, don't be sad. We'll see Serena soon, I think. What is it? Don't listen. If you need to cry, I know you and Serena had a thing. Let's get if you need to cry, I have a shoulder. Alright. Look, there's the elk again. Goodbye. Uh, I take my socks off. Get out of here, socks. <laughs> So if you're hearing like crazy amounts of squeaking from my chair, that's why. Whoops, send me running into trees and such. All right, socks are now off. Relaxation can commence. This place is not different at all. Do you guys like plan to do anything? Oh, at least you got uh, the stuff out. Well, today we're just gonna move the tools from inside the castle to outside of the castle. That'll be today's job. It's a lot of tools. Lots and lots of tools. There's some. There is something out there. I contracted vampirousness. Jeez, I said no to your gift. Potions. Health, health. Whoops, I should have done that. Um. Well, how do I get that fancy thing you got? Ooh, who are you? How you doing? I'll take this and this. And these. Oh yeah, I also have to drink that cure disease potion because I got burn for us. Say, oh, whoops, sorry, Uth. Sorry, Uth, God. You that shiny person. Look at this. I should have known it was only a matter of time before they found us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. I have news, but I wouldn't call it good. Of course. Why did I suppose it differently? Fine. Tell me what you know. Oh, I know that the sky is blue. And it's night time. Oh, the vampires were looking for some woman trapped in the hollow. Woman trapped in there? Yes. That doesn't make any sense. I know. Where is she? More importantly, where is she? Well, right now, uh, she's wanted to go home. See her daddy. So I said, let's bring you home. She's the daughter of a powerful vampire lord. And so you delivered her to them. Maybe. They also have an elder scroll. That helps. What? And you didn't stop them? Uh. You didn't secure the scroll? No. Uh, there are too many of them and only one of me. Yes. So they have everything they wanted. And we're left with nothing. But you have me. I'm still alive. This couldn't get much worse. Yeah, it could. I could have not have come back. So we have to do something. Of course we do. I'm old. I'm blind. Stupid. We're just going to need some help. I got. I'm here. Here I am. Here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here. And a woman. There was a woman over there. I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. Yes. If you can find them. One of them's a good draw over. Where can I find the people we need? Okay, aren't you? Yes. I like that. Not like those fools in the order. No, no, no. They're fools. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. True. Like That's true. I want Serene Gerard. Yes. Like smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Oh. 
nudes in particular. She gonna craft me a nude sword or something? Out in the reach, convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. I will find it first. Might need a little convincing, but she should. You'll also okay. find Gunmar. Ah. Brood of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. How come? Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Oh. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Ooh. Last I knew, he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Ooh. Like to ride them into battle? Into get battle. Started on coming up with a plan. Okay. Um. Um. That's it. Stay alert. You too. Okay, so now we got a new job, which is uh, going all over the dang place of Skyrim. But first off, we have to go all the way over here and rescue that chick, or recruit that chick. So join Gerard. And then what I'm going to do is, hmm, Carthen Rostin. I'm going to travel here because eventually I'll probably, ooh, Steam or Universe did something. Um, Karth Weston is probably like a tavern. So I'm going to travel there, then go to sleep. And then find a girl. And then do something else. I need to sleep. I'm tired. Where's this sleepy place? There you are. <sighs> um, it's also wet and nasty. Okay, this is not what I thought it was. Wow, it is loud. Easy! I do not like this. It's scary. Uh. You can't tell. Like, oh. Where's the mine? I'm just gonna jump into the mine and fall asleep there. Wow, it sucks to be you. You gotta be out in the cold, wet nastiness. There better be some place where I can sleep in here. Um. Uh, hmm. That's a place to sit down. I don't want to sit. Jump. All right. Nope. Oops. Sorry. Hmm. What is this? Silver ore. That's cool. Uh. Come on, where is it? I thought there was like always like some move, Uth. I thought there was something like where everybody could sleep. In here at least. <laughs> That's the exit place. Oh, guess not. Guess not. There's no place for me to rest me we head. That's sad, because now it's just like super darkness. <laughs> oh, that's not scary at all. Um, uh, well, five, six, seven. Well, I could wait like two hours, I guess. That's not bad. What is down there? What is going on? Oh, hey! There's vampires down there. Time to die. Die, bah! You jerk! I'm feeling extremely hungry and extremely thirsty. Now is not the time for me to be hungry. And how is it that I eat like two pieces of meat? Like, hey, that good going, goat. Oh, I didn't mean to kill you. I didn't mean. Did the goat survive? Is the goat survive? I'm a survivor. Is everybody dead now? Yep. All right. Did the goat survive? Oh no, the goat died. Those pesky vampires with their goat killer instincts. Alright. Do this way. What? 
What? What's with the glowing chicken? Raw chicken breast. I don't know if I want the raw chicken breast from this glowing chicken. Oh! But it's no longer glowing. I'll take that with this chicken. You're coming with me. I can use you as like a decoy. Like if wolves come, I can just be like, Ugh! and then run the other way. That's what I'm going to do. Stay there, I'll call upon you, I'll whistle. Make sure you listen for my whistle. Alright, so... So I guess we have to get on the other side of that, which should be fun. Um, I really hope there's no birds around that are going to kick my butt. But that's their fault for laying their nest on the floor. Like, what kind of stupid person are you? You think I'd get up there? I don't know. Let's try it. I'm up for paraclute climbing or whatever it's called. <laughs> Reverse uh, mountain climbing. I don't know. That's just what it's called. Mountain climbing. <sighs> uh, are you guys coming too? That's cool. What is that? Oh, nothing. Beautiful. So I'm kind of wishing that there was like, <laughs> excuse me, more wildlife, more bandits like on the road, cause I'm pretty sure like I walk through like all over the place, right? And I rarely like run into people unless it's near one of those things, which I'm just gonna activate. Been extremely fatigued. What happened? <gasps> That's a saber kitty! <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here, Saber Kitty. No one likes you. Alright. Uh, you could eat a Saber Cat, too? What a weird. That's weird. My god, you don't, don't leave your teeth out of your pillow. I'm hungry. What the? Toothberry's gonna give me something for it. I guess, well, I will double it. Oops, oh, sorry, Benor. What are you doing? Get out of here with your dagger. Oh, I'm gonna die. Let's not eat any of that. Ah, well, um, it's a good thing to know that I'm well hydrated. Um, I'll drink. It's the only one I have. That's cool. Um, damage health. Yes. Bam! Take my poison in your face. That's poison we created, too. Just so you guys know. Bandit Outlaw, die. Bam! Didn't even need the poison. Think I'm afraid of you? No, no one thinks you're afraid of her. You're not afraid of anything, Uthgard. Lydia's afraid of everything, though. She runs away from stuff. It's okay, Lydia. We all have our quirks. Yours just happens to be being a little chicken. <gasps> a sleepy bedroll! Ooh. Is that it? Beautiful. That's all I need. Alright, I got first shift. And we're sleeping for uh, 23 hours. <sighs> Wow, this takes forever. Who the heck sleeps for 23 hours? If I don't wake up feeling well rested, then my guy needs to, uh, well, I don't know, like, get a new hobby. <sighs> feeling mildly hungry and thirsty and everything else. Got it. And I don't have anything. So that stinks. Wait, can I cook? No. Nag. Excuse me, Ben Ol. You watch it, Ben Ol. Ben Ol. 
Oh, that's where they come from. It is a roost. It's a butterfly nest. Brace yourself, everyone. I have a feeling not all of us will make it back home. Ah! 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 the wounded. We press on. Livia's in the back. No! We have to wait! Sergeant Slaughter is dying! Bury his corpse then. Take his armor. We shall bury it at sea. And Livia's crying because she used to love him. But then they just had an argument like a week ago. So she feels like she died. And Red Eagle's remote. It feels like he died without her saying how she really felt. So, we're gonna have to deal with that sometime. Lydia's gonna have to cry on our show. Ah, my face. Nah. Haha, <laughs> you fail. Ah, I'm on fire. Sorry, Lydia. Sorry, Lydia. Oh, I'm sorry. A full swarm. Dude, I wonder if you could really make an axe like that. Like, you need, like, grass, some, like, bones, and, like, a flat rock, and a bay of four sword axe. I don't need to go anywhere near that. What the heck am I going? Uh, wow, I'm going the way or opposite way. Shrine of Periite. Hmm, indeed. The Shrine of Periite better be pretty good. Uh, no reason. Is that the way I'm supposed to go? Nope. Yes, this is the way. Excuse me. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, crap, I thought he was dead. Ow. Oh, sorry, everybody. Oh, no, look what happened. Eyes. They're gross. Come on, dude. Come on. You're heavy as heck. You can stay there, though. Wait, down here. I wonder what's over there. We're gonna have to go there someday. Whoa. Whoa. Alright. Jump, jump, jump. Hmm. There we are. Maybe. Wait. And then we'll find her and then we'll pause it. Then we'll pause it. Yes. We did a lot this episode. Well, not like a lot, a lot, but like a little lot. You know what I mean? Like, we walked a lot of places. Killed like a couple people. Stop jumping off while I'm a jerk. That's it. Spank your bottom. Alright. Uh. Alrighty. Ooh, Roy So apparently she's over here somewhere. She's over here somewhere. And before we talk to her first, we gotta pick up this thing. Her satchel, and then we gotta pick them all up. And then, well. Come here, people! Come on! What are you doing waiting around? <sighs> I'm gonna throw stuff on the floor. Whoa! Isn't lag a bad word? You come. Why are you waiting? Alright, we needed those dwarven gymaros because she wants them and she won't leave this place until she has them, so. So you talk to her. I've seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around here. Yes, I have. I swear I left it right here. It's in my pocket. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? Um, I saw one the other day. 
Why? Just look around, will you? Hey, I have no time for that. He's Ron and asked me to find him. Wants me? Yes. He likes that no, nice booty. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had But now he's older and knows that you're the only thing he can get. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Well, it's probably because you don't look at people when you talk to them. So if you'll excuse me. No. Uh, vampires threaten all of Sky. We need your help. Vampires? Really? Yes. Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. What? Well, what are they up to? I don't know. He just said they have an Elder Scroll. I... Well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Ah! Interesting. What's, why are you drinking? I'm not sure what they would do with one. That was not the time for a steed. Well, he's probably correct in thinking it isn't good. A pint. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. That's true. That's true. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. Uh, it's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. Only one? I pick up seven. I need to find the so apparently... Um... You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Yes, here you are. Here I've got a Jordan Jaro. Take it. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. I should give her all though. Like, yeah, I have these I found Is just randomly. Fort Dodgard. Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? Not really. It's kind of the same. Progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. Okay. Sounds good. Come on, lady. I'm gonna just take your stuff. That seems good. And that seems good. Nothing in there. What are you doing? There's nothing in there? Oh, okay. Alright, so now she's off to go to Fort Norgard. She's actually gonna walk there. Like... If you were to follow her, she would actually walk the whole way to this place. Over, down, over here. Yeah, like, why? Just fast travel. Alright, now next time we have to go over here and talk to this guy. And we could just fast travel to hell again and then I walk down. So that's what we'll do on the next exciting episode of Skyrim. Peace!